Okay. Yeah, I can I can see myself, but the glasses are a bit reflective, so I'm gonna take them off. I'm gonna be able to see less clearly, but at least it doesn't look like, you know, I'm wearing shades indoors because you know it's always sunny and doucheful. Anyway, so today I am going to do a review on my headphones. So these bad boys is called the Sony WF XM. Um, probably says it here somewhere. WF 1000XM3. There you go. So I got these bad boys in the States on eBay and I was trying to find any good reviews on them from like just a normal human being. Sorry, I burped a little bit. Um, so the thing is, I was looking for a bunch of different ones. I looked at Jabra. Uh, I had a pair of Beats Studio 3s that I got as a gift from my previous employer. Uh, it's shit. The sounds pretty decent and you have Beats on so you look pretty cool, but it's really like pulls onto your head and it makes it feel really heavy. So it got really uncomfortable after a short amount of time, especially if I'm chilling, you know, watching hours of YouTube or playing a video game or just generally being unproductive it really hurt me and you know when I want to be unproductive I want to do so in complete comfort so I knew it wasn't quite the product for me so when I went to the States I started making more money than the bread line for a corporate employee so I was able to afford a treat or two so I was looking at a pair of completely wireless earbuds and this one came to mind. It's what I just said, the Sony multiple letter headphone. And I was, it was a toss up between this and the Jabra's, but what really pushed this for me was the active noise cancellation, which I also had in my subpar beats. Um, you can take these and they, they're quite, they're bigger than you think they are, but they're also not, I don't know how to describe it. My ears are weird because the one it fits quite well and the other one it doesn't fit so well. I bought some additional, uh, I think it was Comply Foam ear tips and they broke off. They worked pretty well but they were $20 additional to the $160 that I paid for these on eBay. They were new by the way on eBay so it was a pretty good deal. And um, yeah, so if I put them in, it gives you this thing saying connect, Bluetooth connect and the battery percentage. And it looks like it's sturdy enough, but believe you me, after a while, especially if you are doing any sort of exercise or walking around the house, it will fall out if you don't put it in properly. And sometimes it also has a bit of a vacuum thing to it. It's almost like you can get a bit of a headache, but that's all the negatives. It's lightweight as hell. I mean, look at this, it's small. It can actually fit into my jean pocket, which I have carried it in multiple times when you're on an airplane or anywhere that you just want to sleep without having a bulky piece of head equipment. This is what you want because you stick it in, noise cancels out all the crap around you. You don't have to listen to the tiny talking next to you about how great a holiday is and you know, all the other stuff that you honestly do not give two shits about. So take these, put them in your ears and you are transported into a musical wonderland of pure bliss and joy. And depending on what music you listen to, I am personally not biased towards any genre, um, but I digress. So these are great. So if you have the option to buy the Jabras or anything else, that's sort of in the same category. I cannot give you a comparative review because I don't have enough money to purchase all of these and do individual reviews on them. Um, unless, of course, Jabra and any other electronic company wants to send me some earphones to test, I will use them and I promise you that I will give them um, a fair shot at beating the Sonys. Anyway, so bottom line, I'm not gonna give you a score out of 10, these sound great. 
okay? They're lightweight. The battery lasts about five to six hours, depending on how heavy the usage. Sometimes it cuts out from the phone a bit, and the one ear sometimes cuts out from the left ear. It really happens, but it, when it does happen, it's quite weird. And one weird thing as well, it works seamlessly with music, but when you have a call, sometimes it has this like squiggly noise in the middle of the call. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if it's because I'm using a Samsung phone. I have no idea. But um, but yeah, these, this is my review. Closer look, see, you hear that sound? Quite satisfying. It's got a USB-C charger, a little light showing you this battery in there. You open it up, you can take that out. Take that out, there's the two buds. There's a bit of earwax on there, my apologies. So yeah, buy them, don't buy them, I don't know, but I would buy them again, okay? Thanks for listening to me, Oaks. As always, if you want any more proper instructional videos and pretty much anything that pops into your my mind, subscribe. I'll upload videos quite frequently, and that's it. Um, I don't wanna say that I love you because I don't know you guys, but um, I think I like you. You clicked on my video and you watched it. No, I hope you enjoyed it. Till next time. Cheers, Oaks.